Hello Twitch. We're here, it's Thursday night, we've got a Friday crossword. And I'm going to dive straight into it because I need all the time I can get to do DA because he is notorious. Hopefully there's a theme this week. Let's get straight into it. Here it is. Six answers are each a 517 down and thus go undefined. All other clues are normal. So this means that there are six clues, he doesn't tell us which, and they will not have a literal clue. It'll only be the wordplay given, and I need to work out what 517 down is to understand what the theme is. So already we've got a few extra steps that you're not going to get from any other crossword during the week. This is going to be fun. Here we go. Bird formerly sheltering about. Now the worry here is that I feel like we have to go through all the clues once just so we can get a feel for which one, or which of the six that have the theme attached to it. About can be shorthand for many things. Could be RE, like in an email forward. Could be CA, because that's short for circa, kirka, which is the Latin word for thereabouts. You know, you use it in dating. Dating. Um, historical dating, not in taking girls out the bars. I don't even know what puppetry is, so I'm gonna need help there. I'm leaning towards the literal being impossible. I'm good at crosswords because I can solve the cryptic bit. My general knowledge is terrible. Now let's just get through them. Animal lumped into Spooner's second menagerie. So this is, this is going to be a Spoonerism, obviously, but we need to work out which side of it is the Spoonerism. Is it animal lumped or is it second menagerie? Secondary could be the B, as in, you know, your B list or your B side. Secondary menagerie could be the B farm. And then what does that give you, Fee Balm? What else could a menagerie be? Oh, what's the term for on the beach? Coastal. Confident could be sure. Ava's right could be the letter A. Wait a second. Confident in recording. Yeah, Ava's right is A. Confident is sure. And in recording means it's a homophone. So that's a sure, which is on the beach. Ah, oh, we got the first clue. And it's only a few minutes in. That's more success than I've had the past couple of Fridays. We're off. I'm thinking online pests is trolls. Pupils assessment in vogue, yet established. Yeah, there it is. It's a container clue. In is the only indicator for that. That's the signpost. And it's for, you know what tipped it off for me? The comma. The fact that he's put this punctuation in to throw me off. And it starts on a new line. But pupils assessment, that's an eye test. So you've got the I at the end of Vogue, the E, sorry, at the end of Vogue, and you just follow the, the next six letters after that, and you get an assessment for a pupil. It's a nice phrasing because it sounds like a school exam. It's not. It's this kind of pupil. Behind milkmaids tune via speakers. I think this might be another homophone. I think it might be behind. And then milkmaids tune the via speakers is going to be the signpost for the homophone. Milkmaid's tune. What's a, a milkmaid? Oh, yeah, I think it is exactly that. No, I've got to justify the milkmaid, though. A tune is an air, you know, like air on a G-string. So, I'm pretty sure the answer's dairy air, but I don't know why dairy is milkmaid. Via speakers means you change the spelling. I think that's how it's spelled. I'll probably have to check it with cross letters. But I'm very confident your behind is your dairy air. You know, it could be homophone of dairy, yeah. I mean, it, it comes down to your accent and pronunciation, right? That's probably it. I like those ones when he's just a little bit cheeky. Very casually cues, clues a word for bum by calling it your behind. Some are very quaint about that. All right, cosmic cloud unable to disperse. Could cloud be an anagram signpost for cosmic? Is that six letters? Or is it a cosmic cloud? And Unable is a signpost for the anagram and sag, I got no idea. Moving on. Very happy I've already got three of these. Yeah, port in nautical terms is the left side of the ship, so you can use that to mean the word left or just the letter L. Open port could also be the letter P. Yeah, too many possibilities. Again, that's why these ones are so much fun, because he's very carefully choosing all his words so that they have several meanings. You know, I feel like the literal is going to be a pastry chef's need. 
You know, like a rolling pin, or what's a ten-letter word that a pastry chef needs? A hat? An oven? Baking trays? Epic deadline fail. It could be the heart dwindles from some of the other words. If you take the heart out of the three words after epic, you get D-E-F-L-O-E. -E. That's not a word. New writers missing start. Oh, we have four 15-letter clues. One, two, three, four. All right, see how we go. Wail about miserable saint getting sliced. All right, what are you doing here? I think it might be I need to find a, a synonym for slice and then take the E out of that. Was there a patron saint of whinging at a park official? I want to say that a park official is a ranger and it would fit here as the remainder of this seven letter word. What can we put at the start of that word to give another word? An F? Franger? <laughs> it's not going to be that. Tree boy. Fringes on resplendent landscape. That's exactly what tree boys do. Tree boy fringes on resplendent landscape. It just it sounds like an insult. Making fun of tree boy. Leave tree boy alone. Plot summary for Tarzan. I like that. Baboon quintessentially could just be the central letters of baboon. Could be B and O. Poeticized, what? Oded? Lined? What does chatty mean? Loquacious. Garrulous. These words are all too long. Who's a chatty baboon? Is there a famously chatty baboon? Like one from the Jungle Book? Or the Lion King? Starling, perhaps rarely in other motion with idle wings. Ah, <sighs> I don't know. All right, there's a lot going on here. Why don't we see how many letters we have in an elite NZBNB? Because there's not gonna be a New Zealand bed and breakfast that's famous enough to warrant this being an abbreviation. So I assume it's just the letters. It's gibberish. It's absolute gibberish. Completely baffling. Oh, and you know what else? I've completely forgotten the fact that there's six clues that don't have a literal clue. We need to get 517 down. A starling perhaps, that's just a bird. Idle, the idle wings could be the wings of the word idle, which is I and E. Could be an anagram of this. I think it might be. Fact. Here we go. Rarely in other plus IE. I'm pretty sure that was what we're looking for. You just sometimes have to stare at it until it comes out at you. You can see northerly, and then you're left with a motley assortment of vowels plus an R. So that's not good. Still haven't gone through all of them. Let's get to the end. Establish alien space probe potentially. Well, we have 15 letters in Alien Space Probe. Another cheeky thing he does, he puts the anagram fodder right in the middle so you don't know if which word on either side is gonna be the literal and which is gonna be the anagram signpost. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that as well. A starling could also be a young, famous person. I think it is the term for it, but I hear that more as starlet, a starlet is usually what you call a child star. Starling, I've, I've heard as well, but I don't know. It just, it doesn't ring as true in my ears. Probably right though. Diffracted sides, nine across, elevated curve. Elevated curve, we don't wanna do that. Oh, flatten the curve, not elevated. Diffracted sides. Diffracted, that's a reflection term. Here we go, character outdoors. I think this may very well be one of the six. Character outdoors. Character could be a trait. If this is a double meaning, which the question mark suggests it might be, Snoopy? Is it Snoopy? He's outdoors. He sleeps on top of his kennel. Well, that's a once through the clues and this is Gonna be a toughie. I am stumped. I might come back to 11 across since at least someone has solved it. Lumped it. You got 19 as well. Okay, good. Oh, I'm glad you told me 19 across because that is indeed a cosmic cloud. That's the literal. It's an anagram of unable. If you disperse unable, you get nebula. All right, cool. Thanks for letting me know about that one. So it's not Snoopy. It never was going to be Snoopy. Keep thinking of like Bear Grylls. Now I'm thinking if it is Starling, 
then is it going to be Hannah Montana? And is it going to be a bunch of child star things that I don't know anything about because I'm inclined to ignore that stuff? But what would the literal be? Could it be another themed clue? This is very hard. And let's hope this isn't a themed clue either. There might be something. I hope it's not all of the 15 letter clues because one of those 15 letter clues is already the clue that indicates the theme. Say salience would fit. If it were salience, what do you have left? Paper bow. Paper bow salience would be a pop bear salience. If you have pop bear salience, it means you have the potential to become whatever you want. Animal lumped in a spoon secondary menagerie. What's throwing me is lumped. I feel like if the animal is lumped, does that mean it's like a, a camel? That's more of a humped animal. What's a lumped animal? What's another word for menagerie? Is it a cage? It also has to be something reasonably short. I think it's got to be one syllable because we've only got four letters to work with here. This is excellent content I'm providing everybody here. Watch one man struggle desperately with a very difficult puzzle. If it is Ranger, that's six letters. What if Morphine 2 is the anagram? That's ten. And if we skip Park, then we're skipping the letter P. Then we don't have a literal if that's the construction, but not having a literal isn't a big deal if this is one of the themed clues. More, and then we take out the P, and then a Ranger. We don't really have anything that we can put in front of Ranger, except the T. Wide, off the edges. If you take off the edges of wide, you get IE. Music, Metal Playground, can you tell me if I'm on the right track thinking it's ID? with an anagram of line before it. No, no anagram? Okay. Oh, okay. It's not off the edges of just the, letter, the word wide. It's off of all three of these, line, alas, and wide. So if you take the edges off them, you're left with in and la and then the id, and you get inlaid, like parquetry, because, like you said, parquetry is floor tiling. As I was writing it out, I thought of the word inlaid, and I was like, that makes more sense, but that's not what I've seen yet. I still think rarely in other, an IE. Rarely in other, an IE. Is it going to be a literary heroine? I think it's going to be a lit er airy heroine. Literary heroines, people. That's what we're looking for. It is an anagram of rarely an other, plus the I and the E, which is the wings of idol. All right. A literary, there's, there's nothing in this which suggests, um, oh God, sorry, I just got two down. There's nothing in this that suggests that your heroines are necessarily young. Um, that's just me thinking of literary heroines who are all children. Like, for example, a particular one from Harry Potter. If you anagram morphine 2 and you take out the P and then you add park official at the end, it is a ranger. Hang on, that's not how you spell that word though. It's definitely her, but I thought I thought she spelled her surname like Percy Granger. Look, we know who it is. Um, so if anybody's watching wondering what we're talking about, I am very confident this is one of our themed clues. It is an anagram of morphine 2. No, wait, anagram of morphine. To skip park, say in this instance is EG, because if you say, for example, you would shorthand that to EG, and say is another word of saying, for example. So morphine anagrammed without the P gives you the Hermion up to there, E.G. is say, and then a park official added at the end gives you Hermione Granger. Now, I thought Hermione Granger was spelt with an I, the way Percy Granger spells his name. But that's because I haven't read the books, and I'm not going to. But we already have two themed clues, so that's good and a huge relief to me. Let's see what else we've got. Yeah, port is not L at the end. Uh, and it's not the open of port, which would be P. Loaded could mean drunk. If you're loaded, 
You could be blotto. You could be uh, soused, blue. Port, as in a literal port, a nautical port, could be, what if it's a famous port, like Hamburg? Oh, there's so many possibilities. Oh, melting down. You know what else? Why don't we try to attack the remaining themed clues, which I'm pretty confident are going to be the longest ones. This may not have a literal in it either, because reviewed suggests another anagram, and you know what else? You know a name? It's much easier when you're looking for names, isn't it? What's a name that's got a Z in it and an L there and a T at the end and a late N, Z, B and B? I am sure we're looking for an Elizabeth. N, Elite, N, Z, B, and B. We need Eli, Z, B, at, um, given three rating, um, ah, oh, spoilers, man, come on. <laughs> Thanks, though. <laughs> Reviewed an Elite, N, Z, B, and B. Given three rating. All right, let's see how we can get it. That's all right. You wouldn't have got it without me doing all the hard labor at the start. I feel like I've dug the well and you've pulled the boy out and said, look, I got him. But I dug the well. All right, so what are we left with? Given three rating, initially less. What's three rating? If we need to get the H in there as well. Oh, wait, three. Rating initially less, so that means... Right, okay, so it's given three, but the initial of rating, which is the letter R, is what gets taken out. So that's where we get the H, and then what we've got left are the letters for Bennett. And there's Elizabeth Bennett, another literary heroine. So that means we've already got one, two of our themed clues. I think Establish Alien Space Probe potentially could be another one of these. Alien Space Probe, now that we're looking for a name, the problem is that there's too many words now. If there's no literal, then Establish and potentially uh, anagram signposts and that's just not going to be the case because this is a David Astor and these are carefully written. You know what? We have a word starting with Z. So what's an animal lumped into Spooner's secondary menagerie? A menagerie is a zoo, not a farm. Ah, uh, so it's not a beef farm making a fee farm because that's not a thing. It's a bee zoo making a zebu. And there's your animal lumped. Why are zebus lumped? Do zebus have lumps on them? There's got to be a reason for that. Anyway, we've got another cross letter here. They have humps, sure, but lump lumps? Okay, if anyone else had written this crossword, I'd probably take issue, but I'll cop it. Now, Alien Space Probe here is really throwing me off because I think it's a great anagram and is making a massive red herring. Um, I keep looking for Battlestar Galactica style titles. It could be an anag it could be establish alien and then a space probe, that's true. And then and then we're back to this being one of the themes. What are some names that fit seven letters? Hang on. Establish would be that's nine letters, so we'd need another six for space probe potentially. Estab alien would be the signpost for establish and then a space probe potentially. It could be like a what a Sputnik. It could be could be a saucer, yeah. I don't know how that's going to fit. In fact, I think it would have to be a space probe that starts with the letter L, because if establish is going to be an anagram, the way the clue is worded suggests that a space probe would just be after it. If we take establish, a name that would fit is Lisbeth. And then you're left with S-A, so, oh, Lisbeth Solanga is a literary heroine in a book that I've actually read. 
That's the girl with the dragon tattoo. So no, it's not. It's not Solanga. It's Solander, isn't it? So a space probe would be a lander. You know, like a Mars rover, right? I'm putting it in. But where do we get an O instead of an A? Is it Salander? No, I don't think. I don't think it is. I need to be 100% certain of this. Establish. Establish. If we take out the Lisbeth. We're left with an A and the S. So it is Solander? Okay, thank you. Solander. It's been a while since I've read it, and I've probably seen the movies more recently. So when I hear Solander, I put an O in there. Um, thanks for confirming that for me. That's so satisfying. Oh. Oh, yum, 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 yum. So we've already got three of the six literary heroines. I suspect one down is going to be one as well. I love that he's found, well, at least four literary names that are 15 letters. That's just, it's brilliant. Yeah, Puista, it's such a great red herring. Yeah, I was way off course because he very carefully chose a three word phrase that all goes together, alien space probe, and it has the perfect amount of letters to make you think it's an anagram. It's just, diabolical and he's a monster since my literary knowledge is so bad because i never read and i really should i'm gonna go and have a look at who this essayist might be skim through ads to expose online pests the other worry is that there are potentially literary heroines who have single word names so that's terrifying is this going to be a word like the vikings were scandinavian right is this going to be about Doing this as a live stream, it would make more sense if everybody was helping out. Doing this for my YouTube channel, the video is better if it's me just nutting it out on my own. How does everyone feel about me abandoning this, leaving it for tomorrow so I can figure the rest out on my own? Alright, I'm back. It's the morning. I'm going to try and do this now. It's just really going round and round in circles at the moment, looking at clues that I can't answer, even though we already have the theme. It's quite frustrating, but I'm pretty sure of the six literary heroines we're looking for, we've got three, and we know with a good amount of certainty that the remaining two are here, which means there's one more, and it's only a one-name person. If I can figure out a way to anagram Saint Sliced and get a name into that, I don't think it's one. If about were RE, that could go there, and we'll anagram a Saint. Hang on a second, I'm just thinking... Literary heroines. <sighs> What's the name of the one from the Hunger Games? It's Katniss, right? That would give me Atnus. There's your miserable saint. You need another S there. To whale. Wait, is it with a K? Don't even know. What's Katniss's last name? I don't read Hunger Games. I didn't even watch the movies. I don't care. Can I get this? without knowing the literal. What's another word for sliced? That if you take the E out of it, you're still left with another E. That would mean there has to be an E in the body of the word before you get to the ED in the past tense. Shaved. Sliced? Sheared? Scythed? <laughs> if I just knew her name. See, this is a time I'd probably just look it up because if I just don't know her, which means bird formerly sheltering about. Could it be a Kate? It's a famous Kate. Kate Bush. She is a famous Kate, but she's another non-fiction Kate. I'm trying to think of other names that would fit that pattern. Jane. Are we looking for Jane Eyre? There's your about. There it is. Ah. <sighs> That was some brute force right there. The bird we're looking for is a J. J bird. And formally is Nay. That's what they say of uh, someone's maiden name. Marge Bouvier, now Marge Simpson. She was Nay Bouvier. What's a tree? Why don't I know the name of this tree? Uh, let's see, what was that? 25 minutes just to get one and a half clues. Ugh, I just don't, I just don't know the name of this. I'm sure you know who Katniss is. Sliced, sliced, sliced. Whale has to go about, because otherwise how do you get the K there? She had shaved Sever. If it was sliced, therefore severed. Everdeen. Everdeen. Katniss Everdeen. Yeah. Must be. Keen? Keen. Whale? To whale and keen? 
Don't care. I got it. Ugh. Loaded. Failing to open. Oh, we had a port. We had a Syrian port, wasn't it? Aiden. So what? Loaded is laden. Ugh. Oh, that Syrian port was in a crossword earlier this week, wasn't it? Ah, uh, the horns are back. Phase two, lockdown is opening. All the terrible traffic is starting again at the shopping mall across the road from our house. Un impossible. Un in. Inimitable. All right, all right, I think it's inimitable. That would give us one small wayward. And then a list is a table. If I don't know it when I've got the cross letters, then that means I just don't know it and I'm an idiot. Fringes on resplendent. Fringes on resplendent could be RT. What if a boy is just, hmm. <sighs> a myrtle. How does that work? Fringes on resplendent. Mile? M-Y-L-E. How is that boy? Fringes on resplendent. So with the landscape? Uh-oh. <laughs> I gotta go be a parent. Essentially, could be be on, but then politicized could be a bus. What if online pests were bots? What if online pests is the literal and it's some kind of bots? Spam bots. Now, why would that be? Ads are just spam. I think that might be right, but I just don't know why yet. Would this work? Politicized. Ah, oh, chatty is verbose. If you make something poeticized, you put it in verse. That is such a devious way to clue that. I love it. Chatty is verbose. Baboon quintessentially is the B.O. I was talking about. If you poeticize it, you put verse, you put it into verse. So you put the word verse around it and you get verbose, which means spam bots is probably right. Oh, they, they told me this one was easy. I have no idea why it would be. All I can think of is cavalry. Why is on horseback? I don't know my Viking history well enough. No. Break. I've had a swim. I'm going to try again. I'm very relaxed. It's quite cool. The pool's open for the first time in months. Who are some literary heroines? Cleopatra? Riders. Horse. Riders. Horsemen. Oh, uh, it's not an anagram of riders with a start missing. It's just riders with a start missing. That's Horsemen becoming horsemen and newest. No, that was really obvious. Your character is your trait. Character trait, character, your personality, your nature. Crustinini? Crustini? Crustinini. Is this the theme one? Is this the theme one? Let's notice. Do I to see the see? To, ooh, to beseech. Why would be beseech? The tree would be beech? Beechwood. Is there a beech and a birch? That looks like it fits. What's this? Elevated cut. Cressida? Like. Troilus? Elevated curve. The curve would be an arc. Arc? So that's sides of nine. Hang on, there's too much going on here. Dif wait, is diffracted an anagram sign post? Yeah, that's how we get two S's. S, S, I, T, ah. Oh, it's not the sides of inlaid. That's our themed one. Cressida. Troilus and Cressida. An elevated curve is an arc and it goes A, R, C, and then sides is just anagrammed within it. So that means pastry chef's need. Or it's just a pastry. Short shortening. Shortening as in shortening bread? Ten fits in there. So it would be pastry chef's need. And then support shoring. Okay, still something wrong. Oh, it's not legend. Hmm. But the D is right. Interesting. Once heart dwindles. Once heart dwindles. Oh, what if it's just an anagram of deadline with the DL taken out? Because that's the heart of it. So that leaves D E A I N E. D E A. Oh, no! It's not the duh. The Aeneid, that's the. That's the first one I go for. I always call it the Iliad. They're two different things. I didn't even study the Iliad. I studied the Aeneid. 
course it's that epic. Oh, I'm so upset. Well, I got it under three hours. I don't want to talk about this. This has been a disaster. I'm so sorry. This isn't going to come out till tomorrow at least. Goodbye. I can't, I can't face you right now. Bye.